So today, back day, we're doing cables and onto dumbbell rows, incline bench, onto the lat pull down, superset that, and then onto uh, rows, seated rows, superset again, and finish off with dumbbell rows. We're gonna start with pull-ups. My shoulders are a little bit effed up, so uh, we're just gonna start with two or three sets of pull-ups. watch what I do I always slow down the tempo on the eccentric face so you, you know up in about two seconds and when you pull up always making sure you're squeezing your lats This I'll do probably about four or five sets, 10 or 12 reps. I usually just take the weight up after each set just to make it more challenging. You, normally I'll go to a failure, but rule of thumb is probably about 12, 10 or 12 reps. Always start light. I don't go super heavy with rows. Like most of my back workouts, most of my workouts in general, it's more about the tension, time under tension, and intensity, but it's never um, how much, how heavy I can get. Wow. It's an awesome pump when you're working out. <laughs> now I'm sweet. Yeah. Again, I'll probably do about four or five sets of these. Depending on how I feel. If I feel awesome that day, I'll probably do a lot more than five sets. Some days I might just train. Don't count rest, uh, sets, reps. I just train till I'm absolutely destroyed. It doesn't work for everyone. And it might not work for certain days if you have time. Uh, if you don't have time, but on the days where I find like I have a lot of energy, I like to spend as much time working that muscle group. Um, yes, a lot of people often wonder why I don't do split body parts in one day, in one session. I just find that I'll be in the gym forever. So I'd rather just stick to one muscle group, just absolutely annihilate. I like to superset the uh, pull down. So underhand grip and then wide grip, overhand. But standing up and leaning forward slightly because I find that that helps me with really pull contract the lat. So you can stretch it out and pull back and really, really focus on the lats. And it also stops swinging. It's the worst crime when you're doing a lat pull down. A lot of people swing too much. You can lean back slightly when you're seated, that's fine, but try and avoid swinging motion. Just brand chains, uh, BCA, and uh, 
water. That's all I really drink. Arms really feel like jelly. The thing with training back is your arms that get tired a lot quicker than your actual back. Last set, I'm gonna do a drop set. Drop of four. Um, you should go rep range about 10, 10, 10, or till failure. Another superset with seated rows. And as you can see, this is a weird thing I do, which is another high row, but I like to stand facing away from the machine because I always find that I can stretch up my lats a bit more. The reason why you see me hold onto my lats just so that I make sure that I'm squeezing it. So that's just something I do rather than just swinging. Okay, I'm making sure every contraction I'm squeezing trying to make sure I'm getting that full contraction on my lap. About 10 to 12 reps on both. Usually about four sets. The last set I'll do the drop set as well. It's very important because this is a weird one so I would just make sure you have your chest up, shoulders back and stretch out your lats, really stretch it out. That's why I stand far away from the weight, uh, from the machine. And again, I'll just show you guys with my hands, always start knuckle facing the machine, in, twist it, just making sure you're getting that extra contraction in your lap. Okay, in, twist. This you can't really go too heavy on. It, you just wouldn't be able to do it. And if you do, you end up using more of your biceps, so just be careful of that. <laughs> we finish off now with bent over ropes. Um, I, sometimes I will do this in the middle of a session, but again, today I just felt like doing this at the end of the session. Um, not too heavy, just because. I'm going to be fatigued at this point, but again, it's with bent over rows. This time, I'm making sure my elbows are out. A lot of people do them elbows in, which is fine, and I usually do that. But today, I'm going for elbows out slightly, um, and I always like to make sure when doing these to bend right down. Okay, a lot of people are too upright, which really does nothing but just rowing and not really doing much. So I like to make sure I get really low. Okay, again, with like I did on the bench, bring my arms in, slightly pull out. So that I'll describe it as revving a chainsaw. So I mean, not a lot of people <laughs> rev chainsaws, but or, um, that's what I'll probably say. Uh, just swinging it, going all the way in and out, stretching the lats all the way up in, and then bringing it all the way back.
keep it again about 10 to 12. What I like to do also is my left side is slightly weaker and smaller. So if I'm aiming for, if I go for 12 on the right, I always try and do another two reps extra on my left side, just so that it catches up with my right. Um, which a lot of people are always weaker on one side. So that is what I tend to do. Or if I do one side, so I'll do 50, probably do 52 kilos rows on the other side. But a lot of people, dumbbells, a lot of gyms don't have more than 50 kilos. So I tend to just add one or two extra reps on the left side or on the weaker side. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and hopefully I'll be able to put out a lot more content. Um, if you have any suggestions, write it down on the comment section and um, hopefully more videos to come.